Kanihi, or stitch birds, are one of New Zealand's rarest birds and have been extinct on the mainland for over a hundred years. Luckily, the island of Hauteru, or Little Barrier, has remained free from most predators and acted as a lifeboat for their survival. Why aren't hihi found around mainland New Zealand anymore? Well, it's a mixture of probably predators, for one. I mean, that's the problem with most of our bird species on the mainland now, is, is just um, the competition from introduced predators is so large. Um, the other one is that they're cavity nesters, so they need a lot of um, mature bush, which, uh, you know, through logging and clearing a bush on the mainland, it just doesn't exist anymore. What's special about the population here on Little Barrier? The well, Little Barrier population is the only self-sustaining population in New Zealand. Uh, it was the last refuge for them up until they were transferred off the island um, some years back. We've got the habitat for them that lets them just do their own thing, whereas um, the places that they've been transferred to, they need help. Since then, um, places like Tiri Tiri Martangi um, have been able to breed up more just numbers of them and then they can be transferred on from there. Eddie, why are you studying the hee he out here? Um, well, this island, um, Little Barrier, this is the, um, the last remaining hihi population. While they've been transferred from here to other islands, they don't breed at these other places without management in the form of artificial nest boxes and supplementary feeding. So we want to try and find out more about their breeding ecology on this island to try and figure out why that is. How do you get to the bird nests? Well, the hihi nest at a variety of height. The lowest nest that we're monitoring this year is about uh, two metres off the ground, whereas some of them can be up around 30 to 40 metres. Hihi nests are quite difficult to inspect. There'll be a cavity in a tree. Inside that cavity they'll build a tower, so the level of the nest will be kind of anywhere from kind of 20 to 40 centimetres um, above the entrance. So we use a special flexible scope to get up into the cavity. So we'll climb up and we'll have a look with the scope and see what's inside. Right, well I'll turn the light on here. Yep. And you want to look into this eyepiece. Yep. And right. work that scope up into the cavity. And once it's up there, yep. you can turn these knobs on the side here. Yep. And that'll move the head of the oh, wow. camera around. That is very, very cool. Okay, it looks like one's having a wee shuffle around. Possibly not loving the intrusion. And, uh, Definitely can see feathers. So are these little chicks nearly ready to go? They've probably got about another week and a half in the nest. Can they fly straight away or does it take them a little bit to get cranking? Yeah, they're pretty mobile once they come out. Are they? Yeah. And straight for some flowers? No, they'll mostly just be hopping around on the branches. The parents, both the male and the female, will come and provision the chicks. Oh, right. On Little Barrier Island, monitoring hihi nests gives scientists the opportunity to learn about the breeding habits of one of New Zealand's most endangered birds. And the more we can learn about hihi and how they raise their chicks, the more we can do to protect them.